All right, folks. So today I'm going to show you a drill that's designed to help you with your trigger control. So for those of you who suffer from anticipation or flinch, that's when you pull the trigger and dip down. And usually uh, right-hand shooters will dip down low left, left-hand dip down low right. But you're anticipating the recoil on the gun and you'll actually dip. Uh, so what we do here is I'm going to shoot that swinging steel. We're at 15 yards. Uh, we have some Winchester, 115 grain Winchester, nine millimeter. We got our Prodigy, which still has not been cleaned. We're over 500 rounds now. I have not, not had single issue with this gun. Look at, the, look at the barrel. I took it right out the box. I've been shooting it. I'm gonna shoot this gun till it starts to consistently fail due to lack of maintenance because there's been so many issues out there with, with these. And, I got lucky. I, I haven't had a single issue with this gun. So we're just going to keep shooting it. But um, uh, this drill actually works really good on a plate rack too. So if you got one of those, shoot it on a plate rack, man. But I'm going to show you the basic premise of how to do this drill. And then, you know, hopefully it'll help some of you guys out there that maybe struggle with this because trigger control is or your follow through, your, your trigger squeeze is where most people have a problem shooting pistols and, and that's why they miss. So we're just going to show you how it's done. It also, this, this drill can also help you with your reloads if you have mag pouches and stuff. So basically what we do here is insert the mag, of course, we chamber one round, take the mag out, put it back in your mag pouch, your pocket, wherever you got it. We're going to come up on target. We're going to shoot. We're holding the trigger to the rear. We're going to release it. And we're going to press the trigger and you want to make sure you don't see any wiggle in the sights, any dip, any movement. That's the goal. So you just continue to do that. It helps you focus. You chamber one round, remove the mag, put it back out. Chamber one round, round, move the mag. That's basically how you do it. Now, I would set goals for myself when I was doing this consistently. I would say, okay, I'm going to put 10 rounds in the mag, which is 20 trigger pulls. I want, I'm going to continue to do it until I get 10 hits on steel and 10 noticeable or trigger pulls without noticeable wiggle or movement in it. When I can get that, then I would up it to like 15 or maybe I would go back and increase the distance on it. Um, that's basically how you do it. If you are anticipating the recoil, you will definitely notice. You'll get out there and you'll, you'll dip down. You'll start doing that. That's exaggerated, of course, but you'll start doing that. And that helps you fix it because you know the next round, you really should be focusing on that front sight so that your gun's not wiggling you know, as you're pulling the trigger or, it's not moving. Um, so I hope this helps somebody. Thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you next time.